Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Today's video is a comparison video. We're going to be talking about Noxzema versus Panoxyl. So I got a jar of Noxzema and a jar of Panoxyl. I love both of these products, but one of them I love a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it if you see me doing a lot of this i talk with my hands so if i got some in my hands i'm probably just trying to make sure i show y'all but i'm more than likely gonna put a picture right here but anyway so i'm not wearing any makeup no concealer no nothing um i wanted you guys to see my skin since we're talking about skincare and on top of that i just don't feel like putting on makeup so but other than that my skin is pretty much clear it's just the hyperpigmentation that i'm really trying to work on so I've been using Noxzema off and on for about three or four years. I'll leave links to my previous videos. I fell in love with Noxzema. My friends in college, they were using it. I had a girl, girlfriend and a guy friend and he had it on his face. I'm like, what is that on your face? And he was like, it's Noxzema, skin about to be clear in the morning. I'm like, it don't work like that overnight. But honestly, it did dry out a lot of his pimples. But Noxzema didn't come across my attention until like three or four years later. Tested it out and fell in love. It's so easy to use. It's extremely effective. Within a week, I seen my skin go from blemishes and pimples and hormonal acne and just inflamed blemishes to like they're really dried out flat and and they don't have like the heat coming from because some of the pimples really do have like heat coming up off of them and i owed it all to noxema i swore by this product for years went to Ulta one day and the dermatologist or not dermatologist the spa clerk um was there and asking me what products i used i told her it was noxema she kind of started shaking her head and i'm like what is the problem what's wrong with noxema she was like basically it's filled with plastic i'm gonna hunt for some milk so i'm like i don't want to use plastic blah 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 whatever anyway pen anyway noxema i keep a jar i ain't gonna I, i'm not gonna lie this jar almost at the bottom because what i was using it got discontinued i needed something Okay, I needed something. So I did pick up a jar. I will continue to keep at least one jar in the house. But other than that, I really don't reach for it that much. Now, Noxzema, if you see me looking to the other side, because I got notes. Okay, we're, I got notes, y'all. Noxzema found at CVS, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, and even the Dollar Tree. And if it's not this brand, they have a dupe. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure it's probably if not effective, like Noxzema is close enough. This bottle for this size is four to six dollars depending on where you get it from. I typically get mine from Walmart or um, Target. And depending on where you live, it could be higher so i say four to six dollars there's various types of noxema they have this classic clean which is my favorite they also have a moisturizing cream they also have a different line which is called the ultimate clear i have a video on those products as well they have blemish pads they have scrubs they have the basic cleansers and it either comes in a jar like this or a push top like a like a lotion top the eucalyptus is good for deep cleansing your pores oil sebum control and it doesn't dry out the skin and it removes dirt and makeup now as far as drying out i feel like if you use this every single day you could experience dry skin especially if you have like sensitive skin so be mindful of that personally i think i have slight sensitive skin but i definitely have oily combination skin well when i was trying this my skin was oily now that it's been a couple years, I feel like my skin is combination. Also, it's dermatologist tested. Also, Noxzema has, if I say this right, linseed oil, linseed oil, moisturizing glycerin, soybean, and some other products. Those are just the top couple products or ingredients that I wanted to share with you guys. But the main thing when people talk about Noxzema is the eucalyptus. 
Now, as far as actually trying and using this product, first, this again is the original Classic Clean. It's white. Come on, focus. As soon as you pop the top off of this, it's like, whoosh, eucalyptus. It almost smells medicated. It's a strong scent, don't get me wrong. It is extremely strong, but one, you'll get used to it. Two, it does fade away. Three, it's not gonna linger on your skin. Everywhere else, you can rinse it off pretty easily, but around the eyes, you kind of, you know, be a little bit more forceful. Not heavy handed, but just a little bit more forceful. Use this with my Clarisonic brush. Um, I had a comment on one of my videos and the girl was like, you basically rinsing it all away with the brush. Not really, cause I massage this in and then I use the brush. And while I'm using the brush, I might go ahead and take like a little scoop more and put it on the brush. And then, you know, use the brush all over my face and rinse. I like this stuff. I'll continue to keep a jar um, in my cabinet. I just feel like for emergency uses, this is that product. Next up, Panoxyl. Can be found at Target. And that's the only place I found it, <laughs> okay? I was looking for this at Walmart. I didn't see it. CVS, I didn't see it. I didn't check Walgreens. Went to Target the following day after like searching around the city for this stuff and i found it at target for like 10 to 13 dollars i believe it was like 11.99 or 12.99 something like that it's in that price range there's some good stuff okay this is my first and only container of penoxyl and i purchased this at target for around 10 to 13 dollars i don't know of any dupes just like Noxzema, Panoxyl has various products. Only three, to be completely specific. This is the 10% benzoyl peroxide. They also have a 4% benzoyl peroxide creamy cleanser. This is the 10% foaming cleanser. And they also have overnight blemish pads. Now, I went on the website just for more information. And apparently, you can use this as an overnight mask, but it's not recommended. I have not tried this as an overnight mask. Noxema, I have used as an overnight mask. When it dries down, it's no longer wet, it's no longer messy, it's not gonna get on your pillows for real. Panoxyl does dry down like extremely quickly, so I can see this as a mask, but I have not tried it personally. Back to the 4% creamy cleanser. That's geared more towards people that have sensitive skin. So if 10% is gonna be too strong, make your skin red, maybe itchy, maybe inflamed, irritated somewhat, the 4% is for you. People that kind of have like tougher skin or have like that really cystic acne, go ahead and try the 10%. I personally was gonna get the 4%, but then I'm like, no. The, this breakout that I was having, I needed to get it off my face immediately. So I got the 10% foaming cleansing benzoyl peroxide version. I like this one. I probably not, I'm probably not even gonna try the 4%. I'm cool with the 10%. So you can use this for your chest acne and your back acne and pretty much as an all over acne solution. Not saying it's gonna work, but you can try this out. Now the scent of Panoxyl is extremely light. It's almost non-existent. It's almost non-existent. It smells a little bit medicated. It's very light, like, it's almost no scent. This is also white in color. Um, it is not extremely liquidy, but it's more slippery, has more slip than Noxzema. It dries down extremely fast, faster than Noxzema. So what I like, three, two, one. So what I like to do with Panoxyl is because it dries down so quick when you're massaging it into your skin, I like to apply it, massage it in. Sometimes I do use my Clarisonic, but I feel like this kind of works better with just your hands because it, like I said, it's kind of, it has slip to it. So applying this to my Clarisonic, I noticed that it just literally soaks through the bristles. So I kind of just use this with my um, hands. Rub it in, it dries down, get my hands wet some more, massage it in again. So benzoyl peroxide is good for um, fighting bacteria underneath the skin. 
and also it's good for decreasing excess oil so oil control just like noxema the reason why i like panoxyl a little bit more than noxema is because i feel like my skin needs those acne fighting ingredients like actives my skin likes active ingredients eucalyptus is great it worked well i did like it now when i started to notice like that little film feeling on on top of my skin i kind of wasn't feeling that because it did start to feel a little bit weird with not with panoxyl i don't have that feeling at all once you wash this away there's no excess like tingling feeling there is no tingling feeling with this at all um, no sensation or anything it just feels extremely clear what makes sense to me is this is $13 okay for 10% benzoyl peroxide a lot of brands carry benzoyl peroxide products that only have like 2% 1% maybe 4 or 5% but some of those are like $15 some of them almost $20. This is $10 to $13 for 10% benzoyl peroxide and it's extremely effective. So it just makes sense to me to go ahead and use this, purchase this, cause look at my skin, okay? Couple little stress pimples just got off my cycle. You don't see nothing. You don't see nothing. So guys, um, Product or package comparison, Noxema, Panoxyl, Panoxyl, Noxema. And this is the only two shape that this product comes in. Noxema comes in like two to three different styles. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. I hope this helped. I know people are struggling with Maxne, Maxne or whatever. Basically us, the world, we having issues with acne on the lower region of our face because of the friction of the mask. Everybody is having this issue. Everybody that I'm watching on YouTube, they having the same problems. I was just thinking it was me, but this is my skin. I'm very happy with trying this out. It's extremely effective, I love it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope you made it through all of this information. I hope you made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next one.